my sister Scrapper. Today I want to share a project with you that I created with the gorgeous Graphic 45 Farmhouse Collection. Um, I did make the book from scratch, but um, this, ugh, I can't even describe this paper. It's unbelievable. I did use the ephemera or the die cut pieces that are brand new. And then I used the 12 by 12 papers as well as some chipboard and some patterns and solids from the collection. I also used some of the really pretty black matte pearl gems. So what I did is I layered this piece of ephemera on top of a piece of the design paper right here and then layered it on top here. And then I also took this piece of ephemera and or die cut I guess, or laser die cut too, they're really fabulous. Added a cute little matte pearl gem right there and I did put this on some foam tape here. Made a little banner with some of the solids from the patterns and solids and then layered a couple of border strips right here. Love the cute little farm animals. Inked around all the edges with black soot. And then I've got the pretty um, floral print on the back and another cute little border strip. So there's only three pages in this little book, but it's kind of got a lot going on. <laughs> so what I did on the first page, or the inside front cover, I should say, the inside front cover and the back and back inside cover are mirror images. So I put this little, um, border strip on some foam tape and popped it up on this cute little pocket here and then I had some of the graphic 45 ATC policy envelopes so I pulled out a couple that were the black and white polka dot and then I put a piece of red solids from the patterns and solids here and then I fussy cut this cute little image from um, the design paper and put it on the top and then inside I took two um, black ATC tags from Graphic 45 and decorated them with the paper and some stickers. And those just go right back in there. And then this little policy envelope keeps this little flap down. So I used again a square Graphic 45 tag to create my flap. So there's no magnet because this is going to hold it down. And again I added another piece of the die cuts right here, a little border strip, and this is a fussy cut element from the design paper. And then the tag is decorated with the patterns and solids. So you open it up, again, some more design paper here. And then again, I made a tiny little tuck spot and I made a little, I think it's three by three. Yep, three by three little photo mat. that just tucks right in there like that. And this goes like this. So all three of the pages are designed the same way. Well, as far as the style of the page. So what we've got here is we've used one of the large graphic 45 tags and made that a flap. I've decorated with some design paper and a fussy cut element from the design paper here and popped it up. So this lifts up like this and then you've got a border strip here and then you can put a photo right here. And then inside there's a pocket here and each of these will have a photo mat which is three and three quarters by five and three quarters. And I've got the gold paper here and the cream colored paper on the back. Again, I took a punch and it'll just punched out the words fresh eggs from one of the papers and added some border strips on top. Just layered some of the pattern papers up there. Nothing fancy. So then um, you flip it over and then again on the back there's another pocket as well. I used a border strip right here, another piece of the die cuts and then here's the same pocket or tag right here, some more design paper. And then at the top of each one of the pages is a larger photo mat and again. This one's got the red, and again, these measure the same, three and three quarters, but they're pretty tall, they're eight and a quarter. So you could put two um, three by four pictures right here, or you could put you know, a three by five and journal, and whatever you want. So, but they're pretty good size, and I did use a decorative corner rounder for the papers as well. And then over here, I took the amazing um, die cut clock piece that comes from the die cut packaging. Uh, and I wanted to dress that up a little bit, so I die cut a circle out of the gold just so the numbers would show up, and then I glued that down, and then I took a scallop circle that layered behind the yellow one and die cut that as some ivory just to make it stand out against the plaid here. Again, I took this border strip and put it on some foam tape, and again, I have another piece of ephemera right here, and I just glued it down on the side love this paper right here with the chicken wire and the cute chickens and the eggs. Oh my god, I love it, I love it, I love it. <laughs> Again, another photo mat here and it's gold. I'm going to show it the white going this way. Another cute little sticker. This is fresh eggs and then rise and shine was fussy cut from the design paper. And then here's the one for this one. It's got the cute chicken wire and the cream on the back. So you flip it over and then I took 
a chipboard piece. Is this a chipboard piece? No, this is not. This is one of the die cuts. And I just took, took some twine and tied it in here and I put it on some foam tape. And then here's another little photo mat and then a little border strip of right here, the cute little farm animals at the top. So on the last page, again, this is a chipboard element and I popped the rooster out and put the rooster up on foam tape and then put it back into the slot here, made a little banner with some of the gold papers. Again, I put this border strip on some chipboard as well. And you open it up and then again, we've got another border strip right here, another photo mat, the gorgeous print. And then um, I layered this little rise and shine. I fussy cut it out, put it on some gold paper and then put it on the front of the pocket. And here's the gold one for this one right here. And you flip it over again, some more cute little animals and the cute little milk cans. And then here's the photo mat for this one. And then on the back and side cover again, it's the same as the front. It just opens out the opposite direction. Another policy envelope with a cute little fussy cut image. It says rise and shine, kind of chalkboard looking. I think the um, tag is the same, but I uh, can't remember. Yeah, pretty much a little fussy cut image. And I die cut the with the, with the tag dies out of the red checked and then some more border stickers on the back. And then we've got another piece of ephemera right here, another border strip, and then you open it up. And again, another little tuck spot here. Again, I fussy cut this cute little element from the design paper. And there's a little three by three photo mat that just tucks right in there. And that goes like this. And then this goes back in the pocket. Hold the flap shut, and there you go. Super cute, oh my gosh, love, love, love this paper. So there you go everybody, that's my little mini album project I created using Graphic 45's brand new farmhouse collection. Now I'm gonna share a quick tutorial with you on how I created these little pages in this little book. And again, this one only has three pages, so you can make as many as you want. So you're gonna need your scoreboard, your scissors, your glue. Uh, I'm gonna use score tape for my hinges. Um, and you will need a wet glue as well and your bone folder and all that good stuff. I'm going to use score tape and um, a little bit of wet glue and I got my scoreboard and I got my bone folder. So the first thing you want to do for every page, you're going to need a piece of cardstock that is going to measure nine inches by 10 inches. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to put our paper right here on the nine inch side and we're going to score it at half an inch and I'm using craft just because it's easier to show up than black on video so I use whatever is going to match your collection. So we've got a half an inch our next score mark is four and a half and then our last score mark is at eight and a half. Okay. So you're going to take your paper, you're going to rotate it a quarter turn so you have your 10 inches across the top and we're going to make one score mark and that's going to be at the 2 inch mark. Okay. So that's all the scoring you're going to do for each page. Now you can use your um, paper trimmer or your scissors, whatever. For the video, I'm just gonna use my scissors because we're gonna do a little bit of trimming. But the first thing I wanna do is I wanna take the, I'm gonna, I have that two inch score line across the bottom. We're gonna take that piece and we're gonna fold it up, okay? Just like this. Now what we're gonna do is we're going to take this and we're gonna open it back up and this piece here on the left hand side we are going to trim that one off. So we're gonna cut it right here, and then we're gonna take our scissors, and we're gonna trim from the long edge all the way down to where it intersects at that two inch line. And again, if you wanna use your paper trimmer, you can, because I probably would be, because I don't cut straight, but that's the way it is. 
So we're going to take that piece and we're going to remove it just like that. Okay. So then what we want to do is on the other side, we want to take a little V notch right here where these two intersect at that two inch line. So we're going to take that. Now go ahead and um, you can taper your corners. It just makes the project fold up a little better. Like so and like so. And then I'm also going to trim this one here. Okay, so that's the trimming we're going to do. So now what we're going to do, we're going to go back and refold our bottom score line. And we're going to take our, open back up, take these little tabs and fold them in. Like this. Fold it back up. Then we're going to take this little tab and fold it back. And burnish it really well. And then it's kind of thick. We've got this folded and these folded. And then we're going to fold on that center line, both of those together. And just line everything up and make it square. And give it a good burnish with your bone folder. And that's your page. So we're going to open it back up. We're going to seal our sides. So we're going to open it back up. And you can either use wet glue or you can use tape, whatever you want to do. For the video, I'm going to use the score tape on the tabs because it's fast. <laughs> I don't have to wait for any drying time. So we're going to take the backing off. Flip it up and press it down and then fold it over. So there's our page. So when we go to attach it to our hinge, we're going to um, put our adhesive. We don't need to do it right now because I like to decorate my pages first, but whatever works for you. But you're going to have your hinge facing you right here and you're going to put this, you're going to attach this little half inch tab to your hinge. Okay. And then before you fold it over, you want to seal the bottom. So I just took a little bit of wet glue and added it just a little bit right here along the bottom edge. And you can seal these up before you add them. It doesn't matter. Either way works. And then you're just going to fold that over and give it a good press. And just let that dry really quick. You don't want to use a dry adhesive um, at the bottom just because when you go to put your, as you know, dry adhesive is doesn't dry it just sits on top of the paper so your tags can get stuck sometimes so that's why when I'm doing something like this I like to use a wet glue oopsie so that is our page right there so we have our pocket here we have our large pocket at the top and again we're going to attach this tab to the hinge and then this piece to the other side of the hinge because that way when you do that it'll seal it this way and you'll get that full four inches all the way across. So then you flip it over and then there's your pocket there. So there you go everybody. That's how I created the cute little pages in my Graphic 45 farmhouse little skinny book. There you have it. Thanks for watching. Bye.